Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today, we are going to talk about the French elections. We're going to talk about the elections. We're going to talk about the run-up to them. We're going to talk about what happened. And then we're going to talk about the two gifts that the French people just gave Americans. Um, we haven't been talking about this on the channel. Uh, I think it only got a couple of lines over on the roads, maybe last week. The reason for that is it has two parts. The first part is I don't know enough about internal French politics to have an informed opinion. The second part is while the first part is true, I can definitely spot a panicking commentator class when I see one. And that was definitely occurring. Because over the last couple of weeks, the, the commentary was basically that the far right, that their version of Trumpism was going to win. And there was nothing that was going to stop that. It was a foregone conclusion. You have think pieces about how bad it is for Ukraine that this is going to occur because everybody knew that's what was going to happen. Um, yeah. It, it was panic. It was panic. And even without knowing a lot about internal French politics, it was divorced from analysis. So, what happened? The left one, and keep in mind they have multiple parties. So, the left one, then the center, then the far right. That's what occurred. Uh, now, the results won't be official until tomorrow, I think. But that is certainly how things stand right now. Um, So, what, uh, what are the gifts? The first is a very clear reminder for the American people that the commentators, all of the punditry, it means absolutely nothing. It doesn't matter, especially if it's based in panic, if it's divorced from analysis. And realistically, the only poll that matters is the one you show up to to vote. It was a very clear reminder of that because there weren't a lot of dissenting voices out there saying, oh no, this, this could go the other way. There were a few, but not many. Um, the other gift might be more important. It's how they boxed out the far right. It was through cooperation between the left and the center. The same thing is probably going to have to happen in the United States. Um, and that's going to require give and take across the board. But they provided a road map and I would suggest that Americans read it. It is important to remember that far-right policies are unpopular. That is, uh, that's evident. It is also important to remember that as journalism becomes more and more about hot takes and ad revenue and less about providing information, that the, the punditry is not going to be as valuable or as accurate as it might have been in the past. Especially if you start to see panic. Might be something that people need to keep in mind right now. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.